Hey. Hey. We're here. <laughs> Welcome to Welcome episode back. 12. Episode 12 of Signal Boost. One, two. Um, hey, I'm Jesse Sprocket. I'm the communications director here at The Generator. And this is my cohort. I'm Alicia Dynamic, and I am the youth education director here at the generator. generator. <laughs> um, and welcome to Signal Boost. This is the show where we talk about Reno art and culture. Uh, so we thought we were going to be in Tahoe this weekend, but then my entire family got a cold, which was a real big bummer because there's a lot of cool stuff happening this week, and all I got to do was sit home with uh, sick children. So that's Not cool. ideal. Yeah, so no skate house party. We're very sad about it. But should be tuned in to watch me eat it on my roller skates. I'm sorry. I should just go get him from the car, and I'll just like roller skate in the background. Yeah, and then fall. Um, Invariably, the skate house has a a ladies' night like once a month. So we're just gonna go up for a ladies' night, mm -hmm. and that'll be fun. That'll be a cool moment, and then my daughter can. Um, Rollerblade. Yes. With yep. Levi. Um, yeah. So instead, we're going to talk with Disco, who's our new facilities manager here. And we're going to show some videos because Alicia went to a bunch of cool things this week. I did. Went to a cool, couple of cool shows. Yeah. I'll tell you about them. Um, but first, we're going to do What's New With You. Ooh, it's real chaotic. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, it's fine. It's fine. I gotta just close this. Here we go. All right, that's better. We gotta move us though. Look, we're, yeah. we're layered. Oh, we are layered. Oh no! Ah! Ah! Move us. We gotta make us smaller. All Ooh. right. I'm just gonna be slow today, guys, because I. She's also getting the crud that the kids have. Yeah. I'm Everybody has the summer cold. Getting worn down. From our second winter. From our spring winter the yeah. reno late winter third winter that third we're having right now frost. um yeah well i'll just do what's new with me first since we're already talking about how my kids are all sick it's been like a really rough week in general um because my whole family's sick and then also a coyote has been eating my ducks so i lost two ducks this week um so i'm gonna have a little I was going to play a video of them for you. A little tribute to the ducks. But i got to find out how to get to it. It's in downloads. Ba -da -ba -ba. You can do it. There it is. Which one is it? It's the top one. There they are. Oh, i got to move them over. There's my ducks, guys. The ducks. Ah! Oh, there they are. Yeah! So a coyote came and ate two of them. So now there's only one left and it's super depressing. So I've been crying about ducks and dealing with sick kids and that sucks. That's not a fun what's new with me. Um, but that's how life is sometimes. But some other cool things that I am working on are I went up to Tahoe and I'm helping to facilitate some new murals at this restaurant at Boatworks. And it's gonna be really cool. Uh, getting local artists paid is like my jam. Look at that meat. What? This meat? Yeah. Tacos. So we're going to be doing a mural up there. And then also we're doing some murals at Adi. And um, it's a concept art. Yeah, it's a concept that's getting proposed for Adi. So that's pretty exciting. So at least like that's going pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm doing murals. And I also just got paid for a sculpture I'm going to put in at... Um, with Kelly Smith Cassidy, who's an artist up in Tahoe, and it's going to be in the uh, the lobby of this fancy hotel, the Desolation Hotel. Desolation Hotel. I'm going to ask them for free rooms and be like, "I'm making a sculpture. Come to my room. <laughs> Give me oh, tacos. For the install for goodness Give me sake. tacos and come to my room. I wish it was like that, guys. Um, but it's not. What's Alicia been doing? Well, uh, so this is a picture from the generator this past week on Wednesday. I had three middle school classes from the Honors Academy of, Eng of Literature here, um, which is just a few blocks from us here at Bell Street. So I had three classes come in and we did a bunch of electronics activities and it was 
really fun. So if you are a like a teacher or you have a kid in school or you are a kid in school, like talk to us about coming here uh, with your school, um, if you have kids school or whatever, like we would love to do more of this type of work where we bring in school groups and we teach them fun hands-on STEAM activities and lessons. Here we were doing squishy circuits and this was like my favorite, the group of like nine of my favorite projects from the day. Like they were just one. really awesome. Kids made some really creative stuff because if you didn't know it, Play-Doh is conductive and plasticine clay is not. So you can use those materials to make um, Light up sculpture. To make cool sculptures. And speaking of making sculptures, although maybe less cool, I actually spent like the whole day at the generator today just like working on art, which is something I hadn't done in a long time. So I highly recommend it. Come hang out with me at the generator and make art. Um, I am going to very, uh, you know, very shy. I'm going to show you. I made these weird little <laughs> like, oh my God, I know. It's so silly. I made these little sculptures. They're like paper clay with little... Um, they have like little horns that are 3D printed. Um, I'm gonna paint mm -hmm. them when they dry. I know they're really weird. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she just keeps making fun of me for doing this. No, I love it. I love it. I it's made just, an art. It's also funny. Um, they're they're really ridiculous, but it doesn't fucking matter. Just make whatever. Just make art. It doesn't care. It doesn't matter. So I'm just playing around. I, I downloaded a new. Uh, 3D modeling software program on my iPad today. It's called um, Nomad Sculpt. And so far it's pretty cool. I'm actually 3D printing a piece right now that I made with it. So it's printing on, as I speak. So that's kind of fun. Um, so if you want to come do some 3D printing with me, I have a generator. Come on down. You know where to find us. Also, uh, the, we have a summer camp that uh, works accepting signups for right now. Yes. And that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's an installation art intensive summer camp for kids um, like eight to 12 ages, or maybe it's that you'd think I would know since I designed it, but I'm forgetting now what I range can... I said, seven to 12, eight to 12. Um, it's on there, it's in the kids. It's a little flexible. It's, I'm not super like super hard about the age, age, eight to 12, about the age ranges, but it's doing a week long camp where they learn to make, like learn all about installation art. And then we install a big, uh, they, they do a collaborative installation piece and then it becomes part of the event that we're planning to have here for our town. So that would be really cool if you have a young person in your life that's creative and um, you know, that could be really fun. It's the week of June 21st to 24th. So. Check it out. It's on the website. Anyway, yeah. that's what's new with us. That's what's new with us. Also, what's new with me is I got this uh, necklace when we went to Linus' show yes. last week, and then I forgot to wear it Death on the of show. Death a mask. Yeah. yeah, it's coming. The The closing Make is next Friday. So you, can see it. you could go tonight. There's a gallery oh. sit tonight. I think she's staying until 9 p.m. So you could go to the, to the gallery sit and see that show tonight, um, or you could go to the closing <laughs> next Friday. Friday the 28th is um, when the show closes. So you're gonna wanna catch that before it's over. Speaking of other shows that just opened that you wanna catch is Lauren Huft mm -hmm. just opened her show. Um, I believe, it's, is it called Lauren's Produce Stand or My Produce Stand? Mm. Ooh. I'll look Ooh. it up really fast. But I went to the opening of that. I ended up only being able to get there right at the Welcome to My Produce Stand. That's what it's called. And it's a really cute show. Her work is really cool. It's really fun and it's awesome. Um, and you should definitely check that out. Um, that's happening right now at Reno Artworks. We're going to hopefully get a chance to sit down with her and have, um, a, have something formal to show you about it uh, maybe next week. But Lauren. when I went to the show, uh, this was all tied in with Jesse's kids being sick and all that. I had to go. I went by myself with my kid, and I he's three. I can't like <laughs> I can't film when I'm alone with him because it's like he's he's in, he's all over the place. But he had a really good time. We had a really nice time. Um, it's a really nice show. Good vibes. Go check it out. And today. I went to the Young Blood, the closing of the Young Blood show mm -hmm. at Holland Project, which was super inspiring. It was super awesome to see all of these pieces by all artists under 21 
Um, it was really awesome. We should just roll right into playing the video of that, I think. Yeah, let's do it. So I did a little walkthrough video. It's clo The show ended at 3 p.m. today. So if you haven't seen it, um, well, you're going to get to see a little walkthrough right now. So you didn't totally miss it. And if you got to see it in person, then um, I hope you found it as inspiring as I did. Because, wow, we've got some talented young people in this city. So rad. Heck yeah. <laughs> Over 40 local young artists. That's yeah, so it was cool. really awesome. There was some amazing work in there. All right. Well, may I... Uh... And the Holland Project is amazing, as always. Um, really, like, when I we play this video, make sure you, like, check out the way they have the front window. It looks beautiful. Like, it's so... They're killing it. All right. I'm going to make it big, guys. I'm going to make it big. We're back. We're back. <laughs> and we have Disco with us. Sorry, I'm like, got to be close to the computer. But now I'm going to come back. <laughs> Just making it awkward. <laughs> uh, so Disco is our new facilities manager. He's yep. actually been here helping since last spring, right? Yeah, yeah. I helped with the move out. Yeah. Um, but now he's a full-time, for real, for real employee. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty exciting. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, so if you need help when you're here at the generator um, with any of the equipment, or you have questions? Yeah, you uh, find me and I can help you out with most of the tools that we have and uh, try to uh, advise you on whatever you might need. Yeah. yeah. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about when you worked at the ranch for Burning Man? Yeah, so uh, I spent the past six years working out at the Burning Man Ranch, Black Rock Station, and I was the officially the assistant uh, facility manager there. And I managed all the logistics of everything coming in and going out. Uh, I managed a 10-person crew. We really kind of, um, our job was to make sure that all the different projects that came out to the Burning Man Ranch uh, got done and that the crews were able to work on them and do what they needed to do. That's a long time. So were like you living out there years. in Gerlach like all the time? Uh, I was living there pretty much full time from uh, like April to November every year. And then I'd take a break and go skiing and other things. Yeah, yeah. You know. Nice. Um, do you miss it? You know, I'm, I miss the, uh, I miss kind of the openness of the desert. You know, mm. I know we're really close here in Reno, but it is still a city. And out there, it's like outside your door, you know, yeah, you've yeah. got thousands of acres of nothing. Yeah. 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 It's cool. It's a different feeling for sure. You yeah. gotta come out to the lemon. We're like part way. <laughs> yeah, it's a little uh -huh. bit more out there. With my for house, sure. yeah. you can kind of. Yeah. 
there's spots where you can kind of pretend. You can just do this, and then you, you can. Yeah. Be like, yeah. <laughs> and then you can pretend that there's nothing around. Um, well, that's cool. Do you have any interesting stories from when you were doing that that you would tell? Got interesting. Um, let's see, I mean, we did so much stuff out there. I think, yeah. I think the craziest part and that many people that go to Burning Man don't even realize is just the sheer logistics of pulling that off. We have almost a thousand shipping containers and about 500 trailers that we Damn. send out to the desert over the course of a week and Jeez. all of those get placed you know in very precise locations and it's just a constant movement of machines and equipment to wow. you know get the pre-production even done hmm. yeah so that must be so much fun though like the madness of that yeah yeah it's kind of <laughs> you know there are times when like say we have to do something crazy like drive a uh, um 36,000 pound capacity forklift down the highway to fly to go pick up a container for the transpo because it didn't make it back. <laughs> so, you know. That sounds fun. Fun things. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hell yeah. I want to drive that forklift. It's yeah. huge. <laughs> Heavy equipment is the best. Mm -hmm. uh, we just got a uh, for you guys at home, we just got a, our first piece of heavy machinery. Well, technically not. We have the forklifts, but mm -hmm. now we have a Skyjack. Skyjack! So we can hang things up high. Thanks. Paint murals up high. Yeah. So if you want to paint murals in our Audi building, you can paint them up all the way to the ceiling now. <laughs> Which Nick Noise is going to do. Yep. Um, you yeah. can do a little Michelangelo paint on the ceiling. Yeah, hit us up if you want to do murals. Yeah, let us mm -hmm. know. Absolutely. Um, which but bring, speaking of painting. Yeah, exactly. Segues oh. really nicely. <laughs> so aside from being a facilities manager and knowing all about that, you also are a trained painter, right? Yeah, yeah, I went to Pacific Northwest College of Art, uh, graduated in 2006 with a um, bachelor's in painting and uh, had a bit of a run as a professional artist. I did the New York Studio program and uh, had shows, you know, around. Mm -hmm. um, and then kind of transitioned as, you know, the Portland art scene kind of evaporated way back in the 2008s. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, transitioned into doing more Burning Man stuff. And whatnot. Yeah. yeah. Do you paint at all for fun? Yeah, you know, I've got a, um, I've got an old army truck, and I've kind of made it into a mobile studio, and I do Whoa. plain air painting like out in the desert. It's kind of still sitting That's out so at the Burning cool. Man Ranch, but that was my little escape that I used to do. That's awesome. It's like drive up into the hills and just set up an easel and paint. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Wow. That's so cool. No wonder you miss it extra. <laughs> painting yeah. retreat. Yeah, mobile painting retreat. Mobile painting retreat. Oh my god. We're cooking up a new event the generator. <laughs> so go out into the wilds with disco in a in a military truck. Go paint. Yeah. Oh my it's god. It's not super reliable, but you know it, it, it's part it's, of the excitement, yeah. folks. <laughs> that sounds really amazing. So what wants to sign up for that? Yeah. Me. Mm -hmm. Same. Mm -hmm. Same. Could if it's only like three people, I think that's the best. It's us. Yeah. Never mind, you guys are invited. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> We've got the whole we we got the whole cohort. Maybe the next time. The next time you guys can come. Mm -hmm. Um so what what style of painting though? So um I kinda had a surrealist abstract um painting style. Uh it kind of focused on uh the neuroanatomy of different emotions. Mm -hmm. Um was kind of my real focus and kind of painting them as uh, these surrealistic icons mm. uh, kind of in a religious sense like creating a new Sounds iconography really cool. based around neurobiology um, you know just, go just, just some there. light stuff <laughs> that is super interesting I really want to see that yeah. work now yeah where do you have a website I do uh, it's uh, grangerstudios.com oh. so Granger Studios. You can check it see, out there we're all learning paintings. together because we didn't know yeah. this there's some paintings up there Cool. Wow, yeah. we're gonna have to check that out. What um are what sizing? Do you have like a, a standard like smaller or bigger? Or? Um, so I was kind of all over the place. Uh, I've been doing you know more late recently, just because of portability. It's some very tiny you know miniature paintings like six inch by six inch. But uh, wow. back in the day, I was doing paintings as large as twelve feet by sixty four feet long. Crazy. Um, 
Do you yeah. want to paint a wall? Well, <laughs> yeah. they, they, these were oils on canvas and, you know, it's not, a lot of not oil. really That's murals. A they were commissions. Oil paint. Yeah, there were some large oh commissions God, that I did. Oh my god, a 64 foot oil painting? Yeah. It uh, took Holy a flatbed semi to move it. It was kind of a, kind of a massive thing. I hope there is somewhere, in the, can we see it? I don't know what happened to them. They, uh, they went into a building in Portland, and I think the building might have changed owners. I lost track of it. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. So 64 feet. That's incredible. Oil painting. It's a lot of oil paint. It's going to be so expensive. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. It's so funny because in my mind, I'm always like thinking that oil painting is like really old school. Like, you know, that not a lot of people do it nowadays. Mm -hmm. But the more people oh, we talk do. to, yeah. I didn't realize it was still so prevalent because I know it's so difficult, right? Yeah, there's a lot of processes, and you have to be especially careful because you can become allergic to oils wow. um, if you just like get them all over your hands and whatnot mm -hmm. so there's like safety steps that you have to take you know now that we know more about the materials mm -hmm. um, but I think a lot of artists are getting back into the kind of more traditional mediums uh, yeah I think that's you kind know. of you see that across the spectrum yeah mm -hmm. that people are digging into that more what's the what about oils makes you want to use them versus like acrylic or something I kind of, I mean, this is kind of a weird word, but I, I enjoyed like the sensuality of them. Mm -hmm. They're they're very buttery, and they, you know, they just last, and you can you can do things with them that you can't do with the kind of the plasticiness of acrylics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, especially when it comes to building very very thin layers and mm -hmm. have still maintaining that transparency in the work. Mm. Yeah. Of course, that that kind of work takes ages because you're oil paint has to dry between yeah. each layer mm -hmm. so you know you're thinking in terms of months to create a painting instead of you know hours or weeks wow yeah so do you have like a bunch of easels with various paintings you work on simultaneously because they have to dry or you just focus on one and you just take a long ass time to do a single painting i, I used to work in series and yeah. i had a i had a rack that i you know put the paintings on the easel and or then move them back to the rack, huh. kind of for the more portable stuff. Not the giant ones. The giant ones were that was the only thing I was working on. But well, by the work... time you get from one end to yeah, the other, to the it's other dry. End, yeah, you work back and forth. It's, <laughs> wow, yeah. that's yeah. an incredible undertaking. That's so cool though, because that's then you so really cool. are thinking about it, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it's yeah. so much time, and then you're like, yeah, just slowly, slowly working out. I bet it like. Is there a lot of time where it morphs into something that's completely different from what you started? Yeah, with? and like all art making, you make mistakes, and sometimes you know you have to like sand down a painting. You know, oh. you just completely mm -hmm. like you failed spectacularly, and you're just like, well, I'm going to take the sander to it and try to you know come back from Crazy. from there. Wow. Yeah. I, I really know very little about painting, so the more painters I meet and talk to, it's it's super fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. It just. It's it's like uh, requires a lot of patience. I feel like that I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes. Depends on the kind of painting, I guess. Yeah, also, yeah, true. yeah. I mean, there are people that you know just fling paint at the canvas and really go at it, and yeah. you know, it's all about that passion that they're expressing. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. That'd yeah. be me. Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> hurling angrily. Hur Chucking a, a lot of reds in there, yeah. and a lot of blues too. Some sad. You could have probably used a little bit of that kind of catharsis this week. Yeah. Oh, my ducks. Mm -hmm. My ducks. Yeah. Um, that's so cool. So you you have so many skills because you also know how to fix pretty much everything. Yeah, uh, that's kind of. I mean, working for Burning Man in art studios, you know, for a very long time, you kind of have to learn how to fix everything because, you know, you don't have money to buy new. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yeah, you just kind of make it go. Yeah, and yeah you're awesome. really the perfect person for this job. <laughs> thank you, thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. Um, every time I have something I need help with and I ask you, you like immediately know where the right tool is and how to do it, and it's just so nice. It's really yeah. great. Appreciate that. Yeah. Um, so how did you get into art? Whoa. <laughs> um, I mean, was there a pivotal moment? Or? Yeah, it's kind of always been a thing. I think, uh, you know, my cousin is an artist, and uh, he kind of transitioned into um, making video games as his, you know, Hello. mode of art hmm. making. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think kind of growing up around artists, I was like just into it, and then 
Who were the yeah. artists in your life that you grew up around? Well, my cousin and, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so they're yeah. an older cousin? Yeah, he's an older cousin. Cool, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it just takes that yeah. one person yeah. to show you the way, for sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Um, and then you just started painting when you were in high school, when you were young? Or? Yeah, I just kind of started drawing and then I, uh, um, you know, took some actual art classes then mm -hmm. in high school started making art more regularly and then kind of found out, you know, there was that moment where you find out, oh, you can actually be an artist. That's a thing. <laughs> you can go to school for it. So yeah. I don't think um, I found that out until I was in like my mid twenties. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was told that you could not, you know. That my, yeah, I was told the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> my family was like, we will absolutely not pay for you to go to art school. And I was like, cool. Yeah. Look, yeah. I did it anyway, though. Oh, I did. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I didn't go to art school, but oh. I, I'm, oh, getting, yeah. I'm yeah. in the arts anyway. Yes, 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 yes. I just Absolutely. went to college for something else. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Good thing we went to college for shit. literature and linguistics. <laughs> Instead of the arts. Instead of art. It really... What a waste of our time that would have yeah. been. <laughs> well, I wasn't even trying to be an artist when I was a teenager. I was far too self-conscious for that. Yeah, I really wanted to go to school. Not that there's no self kind of that like artists are in self kind of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wanted to do photography. That was like oh, my thing. Cool. Yeah. 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 yeah, but it's it was a really great medium. But it was like transitioning to digital, you know, in that moment too. Mm -hmm. So it was like kind of a weird time. Yeah, and yeah. my family was like not about it. <laughs> they were like, mm, no. Yeah. That's fine though. But your family was supportive? Yeah, they were pretty supportive. I mean, as much as you can be, like, oh, I'm going to go to art school. No, you're going to be an engineer. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm going to go to art school. Bye. <laughs> yeah, That's what but... happened with Andy. Yeah. But then he did go to engineering school. And now he's, and now he's, now he's an artist. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he can't stop us, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah. That's the moral of that story. Yeah. Can't stop it. Yeah. Can't stop the well, then, how did you get started with burning? Also, wait a minute. Where did you even grow up? Where are you even from, this guy? Well, where did you uh, come from? So, I actually grew up here in Reno. Oh, nice. Um, huh. And then I moved to uh, Santa Rosa, California, and then, you know, Portland and New York, and, uh, well, Santa Rosa, San Francisco, and back here. <laughs> nice. Uh, um, well, Gerlach. Oh, Gerlach. I forgot Gerlach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Gerlach, right. Um, but I got kind of involved uh, in Burning Man way back in uh, 2001. And, wow, um, impressive. My, a friend of mine knew a guy who was like, okay, you guys need to come to this giant party out in the desert. And we're doing, we're doing this crazy art installation out there. And they, they were the ones that did the, uh, the flame cannons around the man. You've probably seen mm. pictures of them. And that was a kind of crazy, you know, uh, in Dang. Was the was the year I finished ago. high school. Uh, uh, no, I was still in high school. I just like, they almost went to. Didn't he bring a bucket a of fried time. chicken? He did. There's a 1990 store, and I don't know. It's like yeah. bottles of like Pepsi and a bucket. <laughs> he was just like, ah, I don't. I I'm think gonna, if I leave now, I could still see DJ Dan. Mm -hmm. I think also there's some like there was also a girl or something involved. no there was like there was like some dude in front of him on an RV who was naked but wearing like a sarong like climbing up <laughs> the ladder on his oh, RV like bent no. over with like and he was like watching this guy climb up the, and he was just like I don't know if this is for me <laughs> <laughs> But it was. That's it was. the ironic thing. And pretty it's soon he'll was. be the old naked guy in the sarong, quite frankly. I mean, we all get to that point. Yeah. Eventually you're all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Either you die bad. or you live to be the old man in the sarong. <laughs> and, <it's her> <laughs> and that's great. That's a good, <laughs> and that's a good future. Yeah, seriously. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. That's a great future. Yeah. Cool. Sign me up. And you, so you've lived all over. That's really rad. You did like the opposite of us, where we were like East Coast, and then we lived all over, and then we ended up here. 
you were mm -hmm. started here and then you came back here. Yeah. Do yeah, you, yeah. are you happy? Are you happy to be back in Reno? Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I like it. It's just a it's mind filled with question. <laughs> yeah. some people right now, are you happy? Are like, are any of us happy right now? Well, you uh, know. You know, it's pandemic and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Getting out of that. But, you know, Did, it's, I feel that Reno's a lot different in a good way mm -hmm. from, you know, where it was when I was growing up. Because now there's like an art scene. And, yeah. you know, as fledgling as it is. Yeah. You know, and there are restaurants to go to, and there's still the cool stuff and the great environment that we live in. Yes. You know, so yes. Reno is a really cool town. Yeah. You know, totally. I love the fledgling aspect mm -hmm. of it. I love that it's like we have so many galleries here. We're like, you know, lots of the people, we have people showing in galleries that, like, you know, like almost anyone can do it. Yeah, it's like it's, it's very accessible. It's a very accessible, like, if you want to put in the work and like then you yeah. can have mm -hmm. a forum to show your art here yeah and, and we get so you get to see so many different kinds of art and like and you know different like ty just mm -hmm. you know different mediums different like yeah. different level different like people who are at different places in their journey as an artist like it's always really cool to see these you know it's great to see these gallery shows by people that are like very practiced and experienced mm -hmm. and who are you know have been like tra formally trained yeah. and all that which is you know that that's great but it's cool to be able to see these shows that people put on who are like just doing something really out of the box mm -hmm. and you know i think that's, that's yeah a, that's like a really cool thing that we have going mm -hmm. for us here in the in in it being and the scene York. is like really collaborative and i feel mm -hmm. like community oriented we all like support each other mm -hmm. you know you go to a show and then and you go see your friends work and they come see your work and mm -hmm. it's just yeah. like feels like a family here no. and i i I don't know if you felt like this, but when we lived in Portland, I never really felt like family vibes ever. And then really yeah. it was cool, but it was also super competitive. Mm -hmm. And of course, New York, super competitive. Yeah. And there's just like a lot, like the volume is so big. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's intimidating as hell. And so. New York, the, like, there's just the finances riding on each and every show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, it's like... They're blue chips for a reason because it's New York and it's expensive and everything's expensive. Yeah. You know, um, so the the level of entry to get a gallery show is like impossible. Sure. Yeah. You, you know? have to be able to yeah. clear. X and the same thing with Portland. It was you know it's a great scene and you know hopefully it's coming back. I haven't been back in a while. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but you know it's it very you know competitive and I think uh, the thing that Reno has is kind of like you know it's it's got a great level of entry where. Yeah. You know, you can put together a show and find a place to show it. Yeah. Yeah, and I feel like we all really, really believe, like, your success is my success. Like, mm -hmm. everybody is just, like, rooting for each other. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, like, when you're doing well, I feel good about it and vice versa, you know? And, like, everyone's just really, like, no bullshit, man. It's just mm -hmm. true like that. It's so beautiful. I've not found that anywhere else. Yeah. Hell yeah, Reno! <laughs> Thanks for tuning into this infomercial about how Reno is cool. Yeah, <laughs> that's. I mean, pretty much signal boost. Come on, is, that is yeah. what it is. But um, cool. Yeah. What else? Oh, so we like to ask the question of like, what advice would you give an emerging artist? Hmm. Work. Mm -hmm. Um. I mean, it. It sounds silly, but uh, it, it's really about putting in the hours and you know you can't have that creative breakthrough moment if you're not constantly practicing you know mm -hmm. um, if you're not there in the studio to make the art yeah. you know when you have that brilliant moment you're not gonna catch it mm -hmm. it's gonna fleet away and that's it yeah. you know and you know you might chase it for years after you know so I think it's just uh, having a practice, a consistent practice is, you know, yeah, the thing really to do. Advice. Yeah. So come down to the generator. Come down yeah. to the generator. Make art with us. Make some All art three of us. With us. Yeah. Maybe you'll get invited to the army truck that we just invited ourselves to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, anything else you want to tell our viewers before we move into the next segment? No, um, but come on down and if you have questions about how to operate any of the equipment, just uh, hit me up. Yeah. yeah.
This guy's really uh, friendly and knowledgeable. Yes. And he's here during all of our open hours. So mm -hmm. anytime the generator is open, Disco is here. Sure. Yeah. And our hours are Wednesday, Thursday, 4 to 9, and Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 12 to 9. Yep. So, yeah. Cool. Thanks so much, cool. Disco. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you for coming uh, up. Yeah. going to awkwardly it's scoot wonderful. back. Yep. Okay. Bye. All right. See you later. Yep. Now I'm coming closer, guys. I gotta drag my chair we over. Are. <laughs> so, speaking of art shows in Reno, we'll show you another one right now that we went to, which was at the Sierra Arts. Mm -hmm. um, it was, uh, oh, Burton. Why did I, Dean Burton? Dean Burton. Black Diamonds, and it's a really um, stunning and like very stark in mm -hmm. a beautiful way. Um, which I think fits the subject matter, which is largely, you know, the desert and whatnot. Um, landscape, mainly portrait. Uh, of Nevada. But they're like mixed images of some kind. I'm not, I don't, I'm not a photography person, so I'm not sure how these are done. And like, but I think there's like some kind of interesting, there's some kind of processes that are done with these. Yeah, well, they're Kodak yeah i thought they were like layered or something there's some kind of there's some post processing that's um thanks mainly like art about them yeah we're excited for art on tap too we're going to talk about that in a little bit but. um yeah they're so beautiful and we featured his instagram last week when we were mm -hmm. talking about going to the show um and if you go what i didn't notice at first was when you first walk into sierra arts and then you walk towards the like bar and then you look to the left there's a whole um, wall of photographs and they actually are a gradient and they go from like dark to light and then back from light to dark and it's really beautiful but you kind of have to step back to be able to see that. Um, and it was really cool. You know, like you look, you're look, you looking closely at each one of these, these photographs and sometimes you forget that you should like stand back and see what the effect is. Yeah. Um, and it's just really beautiful. Um, there's also one of Pyramid Lake. So they're all diamonds. And like there's one where Pyramid Lake is just like the smallest part of this little diamond. And I don't know. It was just like, I was into it. It's beautiful. Yeah. Who doesn't love Pyramid Lake? I'm going to go there next oh. weekend. You for are. Memorial Day. Who's going to Pyramid Lake for Memorial Day, guys? Anybody? Well, let's come on out. Maybe. <laughs> okay, I'm going to open this now. And we're back. Back. Um, so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really stunning. It was a little bit tough because we had Merlin with us, and we he did. was trying to run into the road. <laughs> he wanted to run upstairs. Yeah. Art He's mom not life. a great art show <laughs> well, attendee. He's three, so we're yeah. gonna cut him some slack. He's gonna get better. Yeah, he is it. for sure. Elliot always wants to go to the He's art show. A lot of practice. But then also gets bored. It's rough. Um. But that show's gorgeous and you should go. And I'm not sure how long it's up. Mm -mm, not either. But that's at Sierra Arts, which is right by um, but Wild it just Over opens, Grill. So it'll be up for a little while. Yeah, it's like across from Pioneer Center. So mm -hmm. if you haven't been there before for a show, you should definitely go. They have gorgeous shows. Yeah, they always have really nice stuff. Yeah. And I believe um, he's also a professor at TMCC. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. What else do we do? Oh, you wanted to play the Reno Food Systems video? So we only have 20 minutes left. 
Ooh, yeah, well, let's talk about that for a minute. Yeah. So, um, which also, like, it's seedling sale season. Yeah. Yeah. It did look like Great Basin Co-op. They had theirs today, and it looked like it was a big success, even though the weather wasn't so it's great. They had, like, the a best. huge line. Like, I didn't, I do not need more seedlings, but I was like, oh, maybe I should get down there and look at that line. <laughs> it's always really good. I got the FOMO about the seeds, but what I did go to was last weekend, I went to the Reno Food Systems. Um, they have a seedling, they do like, they've got like a little kind of like a road stand on uh, Mayberry and um, it is so cute. You should really go there. It's really cute. All their farm is there and um, they have some, these like weird goats. I think they're sheep, actually. I don't they're know. They're sheep. They're sheep. I thought they were sheep. Yeah, that's why I was like, no, they're weird sheep. They remind me of goats. I thought they were goats. I don't know what I'm talking about. What's the difference between a sheep and a goat? I don't <laughs> Well, I both... would have thought they were goats. They're um, both ungulates. They are both ungulates. That's true. And... Side so comment, I'm in the market for an alpaca, if anybody... Oh, I thought you were going to talk about how we dressed up as African ungulates. So oh, is our we did. costume for Halloween. We did. That was before the gram existed, I think. Was Otherwise, like I'd pull up ago. a photo of it. Yeah. Because... I, you were you... What, what were you? I was a Gemsbok. I was a Springbok. Springbok. So we dressed... That, so we are, like, matching Halloween costumes for African ungulates. Yep. And, um, and that party was on a boat. It was on... The USS mm, Intrepid. Yes, it was. Oh, it was the boat. Yeah. It was literally on like a, a old war boat. It was like a warship. And the aerialist did aerials off of the war of the ship war cannons. It was insane. It was I don't crazy. know why they let I us have a party they there. They let us run that to throw a huge party, but and we were indeed. dressed as African ungulates, and we had the actual horns that I ordered for us mm -hmm. or whatever. I made mine. mine out of paper mache. Yours were real. Mine were real. I had the real horns of the... Maybe mine was... were vegan. <laughs> I mean, that was a long time ago, It was folks. a long time ago. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll dig up that picture sometime. <laughs> All right. African ungulates moving on. So, goats <laughs> and sheep. Go what? What's the difference? Um, there were ridiculous. goats there, and there were pigs. It was really fun. And I got a pear tree, and I got a grape vine and I got a horseradish plant and a time and a time yes so it was very nice I recommend it um but you can't plant the horseradish in your raised beds otherwise it'll go yeah everywhere. it'll go everywhere but I fun ate a leaf fact. off of it on the way home and it was so delicious so I'm very excited also fun fact I asked her to get me a tree and she didn't I didn't get the message she had already left all right so <laughs> We'll show you the video. Yeah, Arena Food Systems. Also, they were at oh, our... it's tomorrow, too. They do it every Sunday right now, so you can go tomorrow. What if time? you think... It... Oh, I think it's like 9 to 1 or something. I don't know. It's in we'll the morning. But you might also remember them because they were at our grand opening party. Yes, they, they had, had some awesome seeds. They had their seedling truck. So here we go. If you want to go down there, you should go tomorrow. And they're selling all these cold weather greens, which if you had bought them from them and planted them, they would be fine, even though this weather is... Not great. What it is. Okay.
How cute! Yeah. I want all the animals. Did you notice that one of those sheep had three horns? Three. Two on top, and then one sticking out on the side. It was like... I feel like you just went into your Jenny Box voice. Did you okay. notice that one of the... <laughs> My teacher voice. Uh -oh. Teacher voice. Oh my gosh. I want pigs now. I want sheep. I wish I could have all the animals, guys, but I can't even protect the ones I have from these freaking coyotes. That's why you need the llamas or whatever. An alpaca, yeah, exactly. Okay. I know. And then I'm now gonna I'm... shear it and I'm gonna make it to make I it wanna yarn. do that. I wanna do that too. Okay, you can do it. But I feel like now I'm justified. My family always says I can't get more animals, but look. You need to protect your animal clearly. Yeah. What am I clearly. gonna do? So maybe emus. They're hot right now. Emus are so hot right now, guys. And Hit us up in the chat if you just found an emu. Hit us up. Send us a picture. DM us a photo of your emu. <laughs> Please, though. Please do. Um, Jordan, who's going to teach our 3D printing class that's coming up, I think actually this week, 3D Printing 101, oh, yeah, just got some that. emus. And uh, Ben, who is one of the people that runs our screen printing area, also got baby emus. So the that's emus, be cute. emus are baby very emus. hot in the generator world right now Cute. um we gotta do instagram roundup where's micah are you watching today micah micah i haven't seen shannon none of our friends are here today <laughs> oh. <sighs> okay it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine we were gonna send the police be like micah's not on signal boost <laughs> we need a we need a wellness we would... check what do they call it a good we're not even going to freaking joke about wellness checks in here, no. No, we're not going to say that. I'm kidding. I would never call the police. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting, like, a little emotional about that. Are you upset about the idea? Yeah, I just hate that. Let's never call them. Okay. <laughs> we won't. We really won't. Uh, Youngblood Show, we already showed that to you guys earlier. And Alicia. Oh, let's talk about Art on Tap. Ooh, Art on Tap. It was supposed to be this week. They were the weather so, was terrible, yeah. as we've mentioned. Yeah, this week was such a bummer. There were so many <laughs> cool things that didn't happen. Um, but it's fine, because this this coming week is going to be better. It's going to be sunny again, and mm. my family's not going to be sick anymore. Hopefully. Yeah. Fingers crossed, guys. But Art on Tap is going to be happening Thursday, 6 to 9. Um, really big shout-out to Battleborn Beer. They are sponsoring... Art on Tap, and they're going to bring beer every time, and they're amazing, and we love them. Thank you. And we're also going to have Pita and Plantain's food truck, and Travis, um, oh, I could pull up his thing on Instagram, and you can hear him play music, is going to be playing music. Let's see. Oh, no, I'm talking to him in the Punk Rock Flea Market chat. Travis Cavins. Um, we'll be there playing music, and he's so be sweet. So nice. Yeah, Travis was like, I can teach the kids too, because I was talking to him about Kid Rocker. Yep. Come have a beer or a booch. Listen to the music. It's gonna be great. Yes. It's gonna You're gonna awesome. want to get outside after this oh, sloppy week. I'm I'm failing. It's Troy Cabins. I'm like making them together. You know what I'm saying? I'm struggling. There we go. Sorry, Troy. Jellyfish puppets. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be sunny. I'm stoked. I'm excited. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Please come by. Make more. Make some weird art. Yes, with this weirdo. Uh, alive in the desert. I don't know if you guys know about them. They are our homies, and they usually do a big festival. But this year, instead, they're going to do three single-night events, which is kind of cool because then you cool. can – it's cheaper. It's like 40 bucks. They're a nonprofit. Send them money. Um, the location's really cool. It's by, like, Lake Lahontan. And um, it's going to be, like, a, a pretty chill time. So uh, go out there. Check it out. Support them because uh, they're rad, and we love them. And you know you want to get back to, like, dancing mm -hmm. to some – Making Beats. a base face, making a really terrible base face. And just... Yeah, out in the desert. Mm -hmm. The desert. Oh, you know what? As 
we're already talking about festivals. We might as well talk about our other homies. The Great Awakening, because they were supposed to be doing this in California, and they can't because of the... Um, fires. Fires. So instead, they're going to have it at our friend Mary's property. Yeah. Super bonus for us. Yeah. And um, it's the first event that she's hosting at her... Yes. I felt her, like they just posted uh, a cute property. photo of it. A photo video. I think Mary did. Oh, it was Mary. Yeah. yeah. So, so, Great Awakening. That's June 18th through the 21st, and we're planning to be there. We're planning on building an art car and bringing it out there. Not a lot of time, but we're talking yeah, about Yeah, you want to be in an art car crew? Yeah, you want to help so us build our car? We're basically going to make some sort of beautiful bug. Beautiful um, bugs. It's all, golf it's all cart. Out. And then we're also going to make some modifications to my quad, so we're going to be a... It's going to be a posse situation. Yeah, what do you call a group of bugs? A cavalcade. Is that what you call it? No. I mean, I will. I'm going to call it that. Okay. Well, we're going to have, Maybe. if you have a quad or a golf cart or some other Join the a bicycle or whatever you want to turn into bugs with us, and you mm -hmm. want to go to this festival and just, just ride around out. on bugs, hit us up. Yeah. Yeah, Insane. You want to ride on bugs? Insane, you need to come over and help me with my cryptocurrency. I'm sorry oh I never gosh. got back to you. I keep buying more crypto, but I don't really know what I'm doing, guys. No one knows what yeah, this is my retirement plan. Bad plan. How else? Um, how else? How else can I retire? We're not retiring. We're not. We're going to do die. this forever. So, We're going to go out in a blaze of glory on a bug cavalcade. <laughs> in the Grand Canyon or something. It's going to uh, be Thelma and Louise thing, but we're going to be really old and it's going to be a bug vehicle. We'll, we'll broadcast. It'll be a live stream. Mm -hmm. um, so there were so many things this weekend. I kind of felt bad for everybody, but they they yeah, went in the storm. This? this was in Squaw. Wow. They had a big um, art, uh, what's it called? Show? No, art market? Art market, yes. And our friends Dream Machine, Reno, were over there. Mm -hmm. And we were going to go on our way up to the skate house. <sighs> kind of glad we didn't, though. Yeah. But I bet we missed out because it looks like there was a lot of cool arts. Yeah. Like that. That was probably was that one of. Oh, guys, remember people? Hannah Eddy? Ooh, yeah, her her print. I bet it sold out. Like a press. Uh, oh, this is so cool. Yeah, yeah printed she this. Collaborated with Like a Press. Yes. Did a, they did a limited run of these screen printed. Don't you just love a screen printing? Screen printing posters. Right here in Reno. awesome. We are offering screen printing classes here. Yes, come learn to do this so you can make your own rad poster. Yep, and we have a screen printing for kids class too. Yes, your kiddos and they'll make, they get some, I can, I wonder if they can hear us talk. I think it's too loud. Oh, it's too loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good call. It's a good so call. So you can like, we have a screen printing for kids class and they get to make their own design where they get to make a tote bag and a bandana. So, really fun, hour and a half class. So, kids yeah. and kiddos. So if you wanna come learn to screen print, if you're an adult, maybe you're a kid watching this, come Yeah, screen come screen print printing. with us. But that's Hannah Eddy, remember we had her on the show when she, she did, did that, that awesome badass mural. mural. And Like a Press, which has also been on the show because that's where Erin goes and does block printing a lot. And mm -hmm. next weekend on Sunday, we have a, our first basic block printing class. Yay. Which is gonna be super cool. I think I want to take it. I've been already like scheming about block printing is so. Fun. Oh my god! I want to make a pea vine one, and then I want to make a one that all chickens are beautiful. Love that. Mm -hmm. They are. Uh, my neighbor is gonna be a chicken grandma, and she's really excited about it. Just, just tell, just fun facts. Fun facts. Um, Nerd Night Reno transitioned to a podcast and their first podcast is now available to listen to oh, cool. um the art of making bad movies mm. nice i haven't listened to it yet but you should you should listen to it if you love reno things which you obviously do because you're here check this out check it out oh my gosh golden owl this is very cute just opened um a couple weeks ago and it's a mobile bookstore mm -hmm. oh my gosh that's so adorable the aesthetic is very nice yeah see weather weather, weather everybody 
so cute. Very cute. Um, so they're going to be at the Sparks Galleria Shopping Center with their little mobile book truck. You should go buy books from them. It's really cute. Adorable. Very we nice. all need, we got to have them come over mm -hmm. here. Yeah, we should. We should have them on the show. Yeah. Um, Herbology pop-up also got postponed because of weather. That'll be June 5th and 6th now. And Herbology is a mobile plant coffee and art shop. And since they're going to be, it's going to be even better now. So. Yeah. And where is it though? Oh, North Virginia. Cool. We're going to, let's go. Oh, you're going to be gone. I'm going to be gone. I'm going to New York. Wah, wah. Bummer. Just going to some apple fucking farms. Lame. So lame. <laughs> Her sister uh, married into like a apple farm dynasty. It's insane. Yeah. It's so some to the apple real farms. New England shit, guys. <laughs> Shout out Molly. What's up? <laughs> She's... No, she might not be sleeping because she stays up late once a week to watch Saturday Night Live. Wow. I remember Saturday Night Live. Mm hmm There were some good moments. Yeah. Is the writing it's good It's funny now? sometimes, yeah. yeah. Um, Radical Writers Reno. Yeah, Radical Writers Reno. So cool. cool Every new group. Tuesday. Um, specifically, how do they phrase... Um, non-binary folks, trans, Women, trans femme, femme, and non-binary folks in Reno and BIPOC. Tahoe. Tahoe, yeah. um, super cool. I really want to go. Yep. I'm slightly worried about, uh, so Elliot's been riding her bike and she's really slaying it. She doesn't have to have training wheels or anything, but I don't think she can ride as far as these guys ride. That's the only problem there, yeah. but I still want to do it and we should film it. Yep. I'm going to ride. Radical Riders Reno. Bring you guys along. Tuesdays. Go ride it and tell us how it was. Ah, the Reverend. Oh, this is, yes. this is a whole thing. The Reverend. Um, I'm going to show you. He, so the Reverend right now is in Elko for Spike is playing. Spike McGuire. You may have heard of him. You may know him as the new Bing Crosby of Elko, Nevada. <laughs> yeah. So he's playing right now at the DLC Gallery in Elko. And... In another gallery, oh, I gotta find it in downloads. Bam. Ta da! Um, the Reverend has his stuff up. Make it bigger. Yeah. He just literally texted me this video of him walking through the gallery Halleck Bar Gallery. So it's our friend Eric Brooks. And you might know from Sierra Arts. Yeah, from Sierra Arts. Um, so he's doing a new show. Uh, it's I don't like know. a whole project. It's a, it's a it's big like project. Part, it's performance. It's like a whole, he's crafting a whole like alternate reality story, mm -hmm. which is cool. It's a really cool, like. Yeah, the Forgotten Works um, Whisper. So basically just follow. And once a week, there's going to be kind of like a sermon situation at the Virgil, and I plan on being one of the volunteer cast members, mm -hmm. and Elliot's also going to be in the show, mm -hmm. so come on out. The first one, I believe, June 6th at 11 a.m. for church service, so well. no religious affiliation required, okay? This is all about art, so please come. It's going to be real freaking weird, and I think gonna you're going to like it. It's going to be real Wild West, Nice. so come on by. Um, the last thing is the Backroads, Backroads Vintage, Vintage Market in Fallon. I'm trying to include more things from outside of Reno. So hit us up too and let us know. Soundtrack. Who is it? Oh, I don't know. I think that was from the uh, video. Hannah Eddie from video. Hannah Eddie. We're not yeah. sure. I'll look, I can look. But here was the Backroads Vintage Market that happened. It's happening this weekend. So you could go oh, tomorrow it so too. Cute. It's adorable. Wow. And I, from what I gleaned from Ooh. looking at the post, it happens once a season. So Ooh. I'm hoping this is the spring one and then there's a summer one. Yeah. I would that assume. Must be. So we really want to go out to Fallon and go to Oats Park and go to this market and um, go to the Hot Springs and then like steal some Wi Fi from Starbucks and do a live stream from there, from Fallon. Although, if you know anybody in Fallon that would want to host us for the boost, Please let us know, because that'd yeah. be really cool. We want to start going out to... Maybe we should talk to like, the church all 
Yeah, okay. the Churchill Arts Council. Yeah, we want to. Um, you can do it from there. Mm -hmm. That place is cool. Yeah, Oats Park is friggin' awesome. So we just want to be spotlighting more of Northern Nevada because it's rad as heck out here, guys. Stables yes. Bazaar, that was the one at Squaw. Yeah, and here's another one from the cute Fallon. Very cute. Good job, Fallon. This looks awesome. I wish yes. we were there. So much cool stuff happening this weekend. It's true. Um, that's all I got for y'all for Instagram Roundup and for the show. News 802. Yes. Um, yeah, so Alicia's abandoning us and going to New York. <laughs> Just kidding. I gained two new nieces during the pandemic, and I haven't met either of them. Well, one of them was living in Prague, because one of my sisters has been living in Prague for four years, and she's moving back to the United States next week. So I'm going out to New York and getting to go meet my two new nieces that are both two weeks apart. Petra. Petra and Lucy. Lucy. Super cute. Yeah. Um, but it's cool, because Lina will be filling in. Um, I'll be here next Saturday and then the following Saturday. The Lina following. Okay, so you'll be here next week. Yeah, I'll be yeah, here next yeah. Because you leave Sunday. Yeah. I wasn't sure if you wanted to bail on it because no. you'll be getting ready. I leave Sunday night. It's fine. All I'll be right. Here. Um, we don't have a lot of plans for this week, so hit us up if you want us to interview somebody or if there's a cool show that we might be missing. Um, yeah, well, we'll have art on tap, so maybe we'll make some video of art on tap. Yep. And maybe we'll... I'm hoping we can link up with Lauren. Yep, and maybe we'll interview Lauren. Mm -hmm. And yeah, make sure to come out Thursday, 6 to 9. It's a free event. Come free, to art on tap. Free beer, free it's kombucha, so snacks, snacks, uh, food Ooh, truck, live music, and crafting. Hang out with us. Yep. I mean, you know. We're around. Or avoid us. Or avoid Whatever us. Whatever you mm. prefer. <laughs> we won't. Disco make you will talk be here. To us. You can talk to Disco. He's much nicer than we are. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on Thursday. Have a beautiful week. Hopefully, it's way warmer and sunnier and nicer overall. Bye. Bye, guys.